Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Maurice and I'm a product manager at a Series B funded social media startup called Yodo here in Berlin. In my channel, I help graduates and young professionals kickstart the career in product management. And in today's video, I want to present you a framework that helps you break into product management. I call this framework the PM Pyramid. And the PM Pyramid is divided into three parts. The foundational part is the why. So why do you actually want to break into product management? Then the second pillar is about the how. So how can you break into product management? And then of course we have the north as the what. And the what is the goal landing the PM job, breaking into product management. And in today's video, we focus on the foundational part of the pyramid. We're going to focus on the why. Also, in the future, I'm going to share my story and then I am also going to interview a few of my PM friends and have them share their stories so you can take all the juicy learnings and replicate these, how you can break into product management. So let's talk about the why. I divided the why pillar of the pyramid into three subparts. First, passion. Second, vision. And third, skills. Let's start with passion. Of course, you need to be excited about solving problems and building solutions. And just to give you a bit of context, what a project manager does and how do you know if you're passionate about this is a product manager essentially does three things. Analyzes problems, builds the right solutions for these problems, and then lastly, as an outcome, drive business metrics to bring the organization forward. I would urge you, look back into a moment in time where you built something or where you made something happen. It could be an event in university that you organized and you went through from this initial idea, let's do an event, to actually executing it and then holding it. So there's some similar intersections in this process and really uh, be honest with yourself, how you felt about it. Could you reach some flow moments? Did you have an enjoyable time even when it's a bit messy, when it's still not clear what is the right solution for that problem. And yeah, and then yeah, the core question here is, am I passionate about deeply understanding problems and then building solutions for it? The second thing is, is vision. And here, don't be scared. You don't need this grand vision of going to Mars like Elon Musk, like having a specific goal in mind, but it helps to already think about what would enable a PM job me to do in the future. So for example, there are several exit opportunities as a product manager. So firstly, you can just climb the ladder. You become a junior product manager, an associate product manager, and then a product manager, and then a senior product manager, and then a principal product manager, and then a group product manager, and then a CEO. But yeah. Then there's this other category. You can transition into other exciting fields, like for example, venture capital, or a lot of product managers actually become founders themselves because they are regarded as the CEO of the product. They know exactly what steps to take to take an idea and bringing this towards execution. So think about you know, what is your grand vision? Where do you want your career to take you? You can shape it. And then lastly, it's about skills. And here the question is, what skills do you like to develop and do you then need to develop in order to become a product manager? So as a product manager, you have a lot of skills that are very horizontal. What does it mean? So that means you have a lot of different skill sets and different skills you need to develop in order to become successful. The core question is to ask yourselves, what skills do you actually like to develop in order then to become a product manager. So here it's all about liking, right? Going back to passion. So as you can see in the pyramid, 
the lines are blurry, so everything is interconnected here. And here about skills, ask yourself, what do I like to do? What skills do you need to develop in order to become a product manager? What I have seen is that most product managers have a generalistic basis of skills, so have a very horizontal line, and then they decide later to go deeper and to specialize into one or two things that you like and that you think the market also values. So just to sum it up, today we talked about the fundamentals. So before you decide to become a product manager, ask yourself, why do I want to become a product manager? And then look into your passions. Do I like solving problems? Look into your career vision. What would a product management career enable me to do? And then lastly, what skills do you want to develop and also like to develop? I would be super excited if you could subscribe to my channel. If you could leave a thumbs up and most importantly, I'm super curious to understand why do you want to break into product management? What is right now going through your mind? What are some roadblocks there for you that you would like to learn more about to overcome these to become a product manager? To become a product manager. I'm super excited.